Alejandro here from All About, and this is Shave Tips and Wisdom. This series is part shave tip, huge on empowering wisdom. And here are some of the tools of the trade. This is the shave stand, which holds my shave brush, my double-edged safety razor, and we'll talk about the importance of a stand in the future. This is where I mix my shave soap and create my lather. Today I'm going to be using the Pro Rasso, which is a good beginner soap. And this is a sample of an aftershave and an alum block, which is also used towards the end of the shave. Now I'll start to mix my soap. And as you can see, this soap is actually quite malleable, which makes it preferable for beginners and very easy to load onto your brush. Now I have been obviously soaking my brush in hot water. We'll go through all the pertinent steps as we move the series along. But again, you leave, um, see how much water it contains. You just shake off a little bit and then you'd start beginning with the circular motions like this. Now, my recommendation is to squeeze the bristles together so you create them a little bit more tough um, and you continue moving your fingers round and round. You'll do this for 30 seconds and what you'll notice is that at the end, you're going to have a brush that's loaded with the soap. Now that you have the soap loaded onto your brush, you're ready to start mixing within your bowl. And that's as easy as continuing to swirl until you've got a nice, rich lather. Now let me show you one other thing. I've had folks try and rip the bristles out of their shave brush handle. And there's no reason to be rough with this. However, if you squeeze your thumb and your index finger together, you'll, you can squeeze out gently all of the shave cream there. As you can see, then you would take this cream, put it into your shave brush, shave soap mixing bowl, and continue mixing the lather. What you're looking for here in a good lather is when the lather begins to peak. And I'll show you what that looks like. There you go. Those are some nice, beautiful peaks. Applied some hot water to my face. This is when you can begin now to put the lather onto your face in circular motions. We're going to go in much more detail how to do this. However, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet because it's just an introduction. And now that you know about the tools that you need and a bit about the process, I want to talk about something that everybody constantly asks me. And it has to do with the, the issue of time and who has the time to take in the mornings. You know, I began and the first time I did this, told my wife to have 911 on the line because it's a open edged blade, right? And uh, I took around 30 minutes. However, I've been able to knock that down to around 15 to 20 minutes. However, I don't, um, you know, necessarily want to knock it down too much either because I am leveraging that time to listen to audiobooks and some more positive media in the morning. So the question of time and why to, why to do this, there are several reasons. One is this is a, you know, and people say, oh, technology has advanced and there is, um, you know, you've got the five blades now and, uh, you know, ultra glide, uh, glycerin strips on these blades. Now, first off, um, this is a much more cleaner way of shaving. The reason being that the uh, blades don't tug on your whiskers. They slice right through. It's um, also... Uh, you know, at the gym, you would be the only person shaving in this method. And if you're like me and you like to stand out and do things differently, that's a big plus for me. And the reason I got started was that my brother bought me a brush, my first brush, and also had the um, aftershave and proper shave cream that you would need to use the brush with. And that's what essentially got me started. The other reasons also include that the brush has an exfoliating uh, quality to it when you rub it against your face. And you also have um, out there, but you also have the advantage of making a chore more of a ritual. What you're going to also notice is that there's a whole culture around this. So if you're like me, you can get caught up in buying many different types of accessories, trying many different types of soaps. Um, we'll talk about blades in the next video, but that's one, that's one that's very important for you to experiment with and try different um, uh, blades for your skin. In addition to that, you what I find is you have to stop cold turkey using the other more uh, readily available blades. And just give me one sec as I do my mustache here. And don't be surprised if you get some, um, you know, recognition from either sex, male or female. Uh, I know when I first began to do this, um, I got a good compliment from a female, my wife, obviously. And uh, also when I was at work, some of the uh, gentlemen used to comment, oh, you know, you're such a smooth shave, how do you accomplish that? So it's certainly going to uh, 
it caused some uh, attraction and um, attention. I apologize for the skipping ahead here a little bit, but I found it a little bit easier to just finish the um, more of the trouble spots around the chin and on, uh, around the neck area while I'm not talking. And I don't want this video to just be about shaving. So uh, the other thing about time is that we all know it's not infinite, but uh, the truth of the matter is that everyone has the same amount of time within a day. And then, it, so certainly somebody like Richard Branson, Bill Gates, um, you know, all the famous uh, athletes and, uh, uh, and artists, they all have the exact same amount of time as, as we do. So it basically comes down to how we decide to spend our time. And when people tell me, oh, how do you have all this time in the mornings to do this shave? Well, I say, if you don't have 20 to 25 minutes in your day to dedicate to yourself and do, and, you know, and, and perform such a, a great ritual of shaving your, your face to be presentable for your day, you know, not to mention uh, potentially filling that time while you're doing it with some positive media, like in the form of audiobooks or um, additional YouTube videos that are you know, plentiful, then you've got other issues. You, if you can't make 20 to 25 minutes in your day to spend on yourself, then you've got bigger problems than, you know, figuring out how to shave. So how do we make time? Well, that's another uh, topic that, of discussion that, you know, often when I get these questions leads to figuring out, okay, well, um, you're watching, you know, 15 hours worth a week of television. Well, if you stopped watching the evening news and focused your attention a little bit more on just getting the essentials done, eat, sleep, nourish your body, exercise, then potentially you can have hours worth of your day. And part of that time could be dedicated to your shave. The other big thing that you should be aware of to kind of takes a lot of your time, consumes too much of your time, is things like social media. So you can get lost in things like Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, and that's a big drain on your time. So those... While there's uh, fa fa phenomenal ways of using that medium, you have to be choiceful in the way that you use it, um, especially if it's to profit from. So if you're leveraging it for your company and your business, that sort of thing, versus just consuming it as if it were a television program. Um, you know. So things to think about, ways to make time. Um, there should be no excuse for anyone to not be able to try this shave method. That concludes our first video on shave tips and wisdom. Please stay tuned. Our next video will be about shave blades and how we can sharpen our skills. And your comments are always welcomed. Bye for now.